two hits into his yellow attack. Jump into the air, two hits into his yellow attack, and there we go. 7,500 meterless, and you're left in the air. You can go in for another yellow attack after you do a, like a dash or a sidestep in the air if they try to engage you to the ground, if they decide to respect you from your combo. Then you get to just rain your balls down from the heaven for a long while, because you can do this move as many times as you want. So basically you can just put a bunch of balls on the opponent for free. And then get another free combo if your opponent gets hit by enough balls. So yeah. Obviously means it's pretty easy to combo off of, but well... ...to get decently high damage in the air. There we go. Super easy 10,000 damage. Butter combo. If you want to add a dash cancel, you can add one in up to the end, up to do the yellow attack in the air. And just do the air part twice, and then it's 9,700 damage, which is almost 10,000, which means he has pretty good damage for a single dash cancel. That's slightly above average. But yeah, a lot of the time I don't even bother to do a dash cancel because he can save his meter for his. Um, obviously, he can get um, more damage meterlessly with his plus ultras if you do this kind of combo, but that adds a bit more scaling to the combo, and I feel like. <laughs> The increased effort isn't really worth it, especially since he can get good damage off of it, like, without doing that. Oh damn. But that would have been good damage anyways. Okay, there we go. So yes, you do get a lot of extra damage, seeing as that whole combo was free, so it is good. And then he's getting really high damage for a no meter combo. What I like to do is if I have a Kaminari support or even a Jiro support, it works with her too. I do two hits, and like even just a short combo like this, this is going to do a ton of damage. And when it gets to the end of his plus ultra one, I do Kaminari's plus ultra one as a support. And while he's in that animation, I'll do a hit into his quirk two. There we go, managed to hit the combo this time. <laughs> 22,600 damage. Now, so even if you do a simple combo like this, and end anything in your plus ultra one, then you are going to be able to instantly like reset them for a combo if I just run around and do a single ball. Look, he's gotten hit. And I get to go in for a full combo for free. Now let's talk about Minata's combos. So you may have seen some of them already, so you're gonna do two hits for bread and butter. Um two hits into his yellow attack. Jump into the air, two hits into his yellow attack, and there we go. 7,500 meterless and you're left in the air. So you can either do another yellow attack after if you want, if the opponent recovers or tries to attack you, or if they decide to fall to the ground, you can do a bunch of grapes from the skies. And so those options look something like this. So if your opponent recovers and tries to press buttons, oops, I don't know what happened there. You can do another yellow attack and try and catch them. Oops, what am I doing? You can go in for another yellow attack after you do a, like a dash or a sidestep in the air. If they try to engage you, then yeah, just do another yellow attack and you'll beat them. And if they decide to land to the ground, they decide to respect you from your combo, then you get to just rain your balls down from the heaven for a long while. Because you can do this move as many times as you want. So basically you can just put a bunch of balls on the opponent for free. And then get another free combo if your opponent gets hit by enough balls. So yeah, very good bread and butter combo. If you want to add a dash cancel, you can add one in up to the end, up to do the yellow attack in the air, and just do the air part twice, and then it's 9700 damage, 
which is almost 10,000, which means he has pretty good damage for a single dash cancel. That's slightly above average. But yeah, a lot of the time I don't even bother to do a dash cancel because he can save his meter for his plus ultra or whatever. And he's still getting pretty good damage and it's a good setup like after just this basic combo, which is completely meterless, which is pretty crazy that he can do this whole uh, seven hit combo just off of a regular hit. Okay, I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos of maybe Papa Berto or um, Kashimaro who use um, combos like where he they do two hits into the yellow move and then do another hit into the grape throw. Oh damn, I messed it up. And then it stuns your opponent. And then you get to go in for a combo afterwards. And while this is a good, like it would be good for most characters, I find it adds too much like difficulty to your combo. So it like it really limits your chance of actually being able to get decent damage. And it also doesn't give you that much extra damage than his up. Oh my god, why can't I do this? Damn it. <laughs> A lot of the time it just stuns them even normally if they don't have any graves to start with. Okay, so your opponent- oh damn it, it didn't combo. What is happening? I mean, I guess this is what you see. It just adds, I think, too much complexity to the combo, and especially online. It's really unlikely to hit this. Oh my goodness. Or maybe just if you don't suck like me, it's, it'll be easier. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So yes, you do get a lot of extra damage, seeing as that whole combo was free. So it is good, but personally I find it's too hard to execute online. But yeah, if you can do it, go for it. 9,700 damage, completely meterless, that's great. So yeah, those are the two types of combo routes he has. Like regularly, so you can either do this reset, which I suck at. You also have to aim the, um, quirk one pretty well. There we go. Oops, messed it up. Or you can just go for the basic combo, where after you do his yellow attack, just jump in the air and do some air combos. You can leave it meterless, or you can dash cancel again to get 9,700 damage and a meaty blow, which is good because your opponent will be on the ground. But yeah, he gets good meterless damage whether you want to make it difficult or not. And he gets good setups off of his combos. Raining his balls down from the heavens, and if you see that enough balls hit, you can dash in and get a free combo. Super easy. Okay. So... Obviously all of his combos can be a little bit more damage if you do the red attack at the start, but now I want to talk about his... Um, actually, I'll go over sidekick combos. So a lot of the time I don't really talk about sidekick combos, but with Minato I feel like they um, work pretty well with him. So a meaningless combo you can do with Minato looks something like this. And then you go into the regular situation again. Oh my goodness. And then he's getting really high damage for a no meter combo. That was zero dash cancels and 11,500 damage. And if you wanted to add a dash cancel, I'm sure it would do even, <laughs> even more damage. And that wasn't even a meteor blow there, so you can extend it more if you want. I'll try and show that if I don't mess up a hundred times like I did before. So you bring out the support after the second hit of his Quark 2 string. Damn it, yeah, Meteor blowed a bit early. Yeah, if I do the... Ah, uh, yeah. It's gonna do like 13,000 damage or whatever. Okay, now for where I really like his extended combos. So as you remember, his plus ultra one leaves nine balls on the opponent after any situation. 
which means you can get a reset if you just throw some balls at your opponent, or they... T and then you get a free combo after his plus ultra one. But this also works if you um, combo off of your plus ultra one. So if I do something like a really basic combo, like two hits into his quirk two string, I can do something like this. No, oh, I messed it up. <laughs> hey, wait, I'll show a more simple version so I can actually hit it while I'm recording, since I'm awful at doing combos when I record. But essentially, you can extend it using someone like Jiro or other good combo supports. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> One more try. But you can see where this is going. Basically, you can just, like, if you touch your opponent once with the ball, then you can get a super extended combo off of his plus ultra one. Ah! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have to show how much damage you can get. I feel like it's my duty, okay. So, plus ultra one. <laughs> Christ sakes, oh my god. I'll just make it super simple. Or not! But you see, it added 4000 damage to the end of whatever that combo was. So, it's a lot of damage. I didn't see what the other thing was, but that's good. that's gotta be like... I don't know, 18,000 or something. So yeah, a lot of damage if you extend off of the combo. But what I really like to do is if I have a Kaminari support or even a Jiro support, it works with her too. I do two hits, and like even just a short combo like this, this is going to do a ton of damage. And when it gets to the end of his plus ultra one, I do Kaminari's plus ultra one as a support. And while he's in that animation, I'll do a hit into his quirk two. There we go, managed to hit the combo this time, <laughs> 22,600 damage. Now, you might be like, oh, but that cost you so much resources, it was 2 plus ultras. But if you think about it, that's about the amount of damage that a, um, a level 3 plus ultra, like a team plus ultra does. So like, you know when you have Night Eye, Deku, and Mirio on a team, and they always save up to do that level 3 plus ultra that kills you in like a single hit? That combo was essentially a level 3 plus ultra, but it only costs you 2. So. It's like a way discounted version of a plus ultra 3 combo. And also, most of the combo is completely unbreakable, just like a plus ultra um, 3 combo. Because you can't interrupt his plus ultra 1. You can't interrupt Kaminari's plus ultra 1. And by that point, you've already done a ton of damage. And then if they want to break here, they're just stopping you from getting... <laughs> what so You've already done like 20,000 damage com combo. They're just going to stop you from getting an extra like single thousand. So like that is a ton of damage, completely um, unbreakable. And then <laughs> yeah, it's like 22,600 damage if you do your combos properly. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. And then Kaminari's back by the end of it anyways. So yes, very interesting combos. And I think that's about all I have to say with um, Mineta. He... I really love how his plus ultra one, it can either be used for setups to get a free combo afterwards, or you can get huge damage combos if you use a support. It works with characters like Kaminari or Jiro. Oh god. I didn't mean to do both of them at the same time. But I mean, I guess that would work too. There's no reason to do this, just except for swag. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh god. But yeah, the combo works with Jiro as well, he can get huge damage, but he can also just get completely free damage that does, like, decently high damage, it leaves you at good Oki, you can either do, and then it's a mix-up after you've done that combo, because they have to guess whether you're going to do another yellow attack in the air, or whether you're going to go in for the balls, and yeah, either option is pretty safe for you, if they try and attack, you go in for a yellow attack, and then you get a combo after it. It's a pretty win-win for Mineta. 
Um, obviously, he can get um, more damage mutilessly with his plus ultras if you do this kind of combo. But that adds a bit more scaling to the combo, and I feel like the increased effort isn't really worth it, especially since he can get good damage off of it, like, without doing that. Oh, damn. But that would have been good damage anyways, like 18,000 or something. But yeah, anyways, guys, that was my breakdown for Minoru Minata. I hope you enjoyed. He's a really fun character, pretty unique, and I think he's pretty balanced. He has some weaknesses, like his regular attack string is kind of bad, but he's a really good red attack that travels far. He has an amazing yellow attack in the air, and he has interesting resets using his balls. And a lot of people don't use his balls that much because they don't do damage, but I think they're a really interesting tool, very unique to Mineta, and yeah, very fun character. Maybe strong, maybe weak, just depends. If it's in the hands of the user, Mineta can be weak or strong. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was my breakdown on Mineta. I'll show you his plus ultra 2 as my outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you!